Hello everyone and what we're going to talk about here is semantic media wiki properties. So these are the uh, basic building blocks that will allow us to um, create those properties which means that wiki text that you have now becomes this database that you can search and, and rather than me waffling on let's just uh, explain it. So uh, looking at Arsenal Football Club as I've sort of focused on before um, you have a bit of writing here, which you can imagine on a wiki page. And I've taken sort of these bits from the um, the actual Wikipedia page and just condensed it down. And what you can do if if, if you read the sentence is you can start to see um, some properties that can be associated with Arsenal. So, for example, they uh, they're based in London. They're also based in the country England. Uh, they're they're in the Premier League. The year they're founded, the stadium that they play in, how many league titles they've won and who their manager is and so what we want to do is we want to turn this text to um, to actually grab this information so you could in future see which uh, Premier League clubs are located in London or were um, founded before before the uh, before the 1900s so what we've done is we've identified the properties that we think we can associate with this and the way Semantic Media Wiki works is based on the Semantic Web, which works on triples. And so what we have is we have a subject, which is Arsenal Football Club, which is represented by the page that it's on. We have the predicate, which is the country. Um, this is the property. And we have what the actual value is, so the object, and that's England. So we already have within this within this page this because it's Arsenal football it's an Arsenal football club page and we've already stated what the value is so what we need to do is to specify that this is a property and the way you do this within semantic media wiki is you is you have a property name so when you're editing double brackets you put the property name two colons and what the property value is so here it would be has country uh, double colon and then England so let's see this as uh, as media markup language. OK, so you can see in red what I've done is I've given examples of how you would actually write this. Now, what we have to make absolutely clear is you don't have to have has town. You could have this as A, you could have this as B, you could have this as C. But to be honest, that'd be a little bit foolish. And what you want to do is to create a property that clearly states what it is, because it becomes far easier when you're querying, when you're understanding it. And it doesn't matter. I mean, you can see that there, there's uh, has number of titles here. It doesn't matter what you call this property to an extent, but really what you want to do is is to try and make it sufficiently unique. Um, you know, you could even argue that uh, football club has the town or so, something like that, because maybe you don't necessarily want London to be listing out football clubs necessarily that page. So really, when you're thinking about uh, building your wiki, you need to think about these properties. Don't worry, you can always retrospectively change them, but it's a bit of a pain to retrospectively change them. It is nice to get it right first time. So let's uh, go, on to, uh, go on to the wiki page and actually edit this and show you what, what happens. So here's a page I've created, Arsenal Football Club, and I've just copied and pasted the text that I showed you previously. So we've got the Arsenal Football Club, and what we've done is we've created these properties, so has town, has country, and so on. So, saving this page. The user who uh, comes to this page and just reads it, all they see is a page about Arsenal Football Club with the information. So they don't realize that actually behind this page, these properties have been created. So. As far as they see, these are just links to other pages. But actually, if you go down here into Browse Properties, you'll see these are the properties and these are the values. Now, these are these all in red because they haven't been created. In the next, uh, the next tutorial, we'll talk about creating properties, but also assigning them uh, types because you don't necessarily want this automatically assumes that uh, 13 will become a page. So do you want a page that is 13? Do you want a page that is 1886? Or do you want that to be a date? So we'll talk about the different types of 
properties, you, uh, the different types of properties you can assign, but also you can also limit the value. So for example, has league, you probably just want, because they're uh, talking about English football clubs, you only want the English league, the Premier League, Division 1, Division 2, Division 3. You don't necessarily want the Bundesliga or, or any other um, league in Europe because that's not relevant to this. So again, you can tie down the properties, but also you can establish the types they are. But as, as I said, as far as the user is concerned, all they see is a page, but behind that, what you've done is created, you've, you've uh, linked those properties to Arsenal Football Club. Thank you very much for watching.